Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the DPS equation of Diablo. If you've uh, been checking out my stream, you see that every now and then I bust out the spreadsheet and do some calculations on there. Um, it's a very simple one and I like it for that. I've been recommending some other websites and stuff like that, but some of you are returning and telling me that they're not perfectly accurate and that kind of stuff. So maybe it's time for me to release my spreadsheet. There's going to be a link on this video showing you exactly uh, what I use. But in the meantime, let's talk about how the DPS equation of Diablo works. So I've made a little graphic here. And so it has six components, all multiplied together. And first you have the minimum and the maximum damage that your weapon can do per swing. And you're dividing by two to get an average. So remember, uh, you look at your weapon, it's going to have a minimum damage per swing and a maximum damage per swing. But you have to add any minimum damage mods on rings or maximum damage mods to the max. And uh, sometimes rings and amulets have a range like plus 10 to 20 damage. When that's the case, you add 10 to minimum, 20 to maximum. All right, so you're going to get those two numbers over here. Then you're going to multiply that by your attacks per second, which is a, a number that you can read off of your weapon. It's going to be like 1.2, 1.3 attacks per second, whatever it is. But you got to remember to add 0.03 if you use the Enchantress's ability Focused Mind. And that is a bit deceptive because the ability on the Enchantress actually says they gain 3% attack speed, but that is incorrect. And I believe that is one of the sources of error that some websites and spreadsheets out there have because this is working differently than you'd expect from the description. After that, you multiply by your attack speed. This is going to be your modifier from all your rings amulets or maybe you have an Andarius visage or whatever else that's giving you attack speed. Okay, so you start out with 100% and then you sum all the percentages up from your other rings. So say you have two rings with 6% each, then it's going to be 100% plus 6% plus 6%. So you're going to multiply the number that we have right now by 1.12, which is 112%. Okay, and the important thing to remember here, this attack speed is not the one that you find on your weapon. Okay, the, some weapons have a plus 10% attack speed mod. That's a completely different thing. Don't look at the attack speed on the weapon. Uh, the reason why is because that number is already figured in into the attacks per second that the weapon's going to use. So you would be counting it twice if you added it here. Just ignore the, the weapon, get the attack speed from everything else, okay? And that's your attack speed. Next, we have your primary stat. It's going to be the strength for barbs, you know, or dexterity for a monk and, and demon hunter and so forth. So you get that number, divide by 100, and then add 1. So you multiply that in. And uh, next we have the crit damage and crit chance. And uh, it's very simple. You just multiply crit chance by crit damage and then add 1. So this is going to be like, for me, for example, it's 41% times 360%. So this will be 0 0.41 times 3.6. Get that number, add 1, multiply it in. And finally, we have the damage modifier. This is whenever you have a, an ability or a passive that's giving you an increased amount of damage. Okay, for example, if you're using a sword and you have Weapon Master, then you gain 10%, sorry, 15% increased damage. So in that case, the damage mod would be 1.15. So 115% damage modifier. Uh, all the damage modifiers um, stack additively. So if you have, say, uh, Wrath of the Berserker up with Insanity Rune giving you 100% and then something else, you would add those numbers together and then multiply. For example, say you have Wrath of the Berserker and Berserker Rage. Berserker Rage is 25%. You would add 100% naturally plus 100% of Insanity plus 25% from Berserker Rage and multiply the number that we have so far by 2.25. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's go back here and take a look at my stats. Okay, so I have 1744 strength, 41% crit chance, 360% uh, crit damage, and looking at my weapon, I have the minimum and maximum damage over there, and I can also read that it has 1.2 attacks per second, but you've got to remember to add 0 0.03 for the Enchantress, right? I also have 6% attack speed from this ring and this amulet, and uh, this Skull Grasp is also giving me plus 21 to 38 damage. So now let, let me do a, a demonstration here of the calculation, how it works. 
So let me get a new graphic. And uh, remember the, the damage on my screen, okay? 53,683.18. All right, so these are my numbers here. This is the number, my minimum uh, damage per swing plus the skull grasp, maximum plus the skull grasp. And uh, these are all my other stats, okay? This is my average damage per swing corresponds to this. 1.23 attacks per second. 12% attack speed resists 1.12. This is 112%. And then my primary stat divided by 100 gives me 17.44. So I add one to that, 18.44. And uh, here we have my crit chance times, times my crit damage. These two multiplied gives me 1.476. I add one to it, multiply it in. And finally, I don't have any damage mods, so just times one. And this is the number that comes out. It's perfectly accurate. And uh, therefore, uh, this spreadsheet will give you exact answers when you're looking for, uh, you know, making simulations on your gear. So unfortunately, I can't show you the spreadsheet directly. But when you look at it, there's going to be a field for each of these values here, right? You're just going to input these numbers. And then on the last field, it's just going to be DPS, and it's going to spit out something like this, okay? The spreadsheet is very easy to use. If you have questions, just drop them in the comments or send me a message. I'll, I'll teach you how to do it. It's a Google Docs document. Unfortunately, it cannot be edited online because otherwise, you know, anyone could go in there and troll it out, you know, mess with it. So you have to download it and then use it on your computer. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And uh, just send me uh, a message if you have any questions.